presented by the Lake of Women Voters of Winnebago County and Oshkosh Media. I'm Margie Davey, Winnebago County Lake of Women Voters co-president, your moderator tonight. The Lake of Women Voters seeks to inform citizens about candidates seeking office. We do not support or oppose any political party or any candidate. Joining me on the panel for this forum is Winnebago County League member, Kathy Propp. Three candidates are asking for your vote on November 8th. They are Nick Gebert. Gebert. Gebert, thank you. <laughs> Jeanette Merton and Natalie Strohmeyer. Our timekeeper will give you cues and we thank you in advance for keeping your answers short so that we may cover as many issues as possible. Audience questions are welcome. Please submit them in writing and some of you already have. We thank you for that. Um, our candidates did receive the first two questions in advance. And we are going to start, we're going to do this alphabetically. Um, in our opening statements, we're going to ask you, Nick, to please tell us about your qualifications and why you wish to become the Winnebago County Register of Deeds. You'll have one minute for that. And you are the Democratic, okay, the Democrat. Okay, go. Well, first I'd like to thank the Women League of Voters for inviting me to the forum tonight. I'd also like to thank all of you for attending. It's great to see others making time out of their busy days to get involved in local and informed in local politics. My name is Nick Gebert and I'm the Democratic candidate for Winnebago County Register of Deeds. I've been a resident of Winnebago County my entire life. I'm the proud father of my son Nicholas Jr. who just started 4K in September. And last weekend my beautiful wife and I, my beautiful wife Dawn and I celebrated seven years together. I'm a master mason at the Appleton Lodge in Nina and I work as a financial advisor with Waters Financial. I also co-own the Phoenix, which is a estate sale company with my wife. I was a vintage action figure collector when I met before I met her, and uh, we actually share a passion for going to uh, flea markets, looking at antiques, and the quality that once was. And it's a great business to be in, and we should get to share the knowledge of items, per real purpose, and the value of the such things. I graduated from high school in the year 2000, but before that, at age 12, I got my first taste of employment when I became the neighborhood paper boy. I was a paper boy for over three years, where a seven day a week work schedule instilled in me a strong work ethic. <laughs> I got thrown off there. Sorry about that. And re our responsibility. I can't remember time since I haven't had a job. While still in high school, I took a job as a paper recycling center. I continued working there right after high school. I didn't have the money to go on to college immediately, so I started saving what I could and continued to work my way from grunt, shift, grunt to shift lead over four years. And after four years, I had enough to start school. It took me longer than most because I couldn't take a full load every semester, but in 2011, I graduated from the UW Oshkosh with a bachelor's degree in political science. Okay, thank you. Um, Jeanette is our independent, and you have one minute for your opening statement. Well, good evening. Thank you to the League of Women Voters for this opportunity to talk to the voters. I would like to first announce that I have created a website. It is in my name, JeanetteMerton.com. It was a cost-effective way for me to inform voter voters about me as a candidate. I did not hire anyone because I have the ability to do this myself, and I also have a Facebook page if you wish to follow. In my early 20s, I began my office work experience as a file clerk, a cost estimator, and a buyer working over a decade at J.J. Keller's and Associates. I also worked as a business secretary for the Island View Sanitary District for over a decade. I am an independent freelance photographer and contract primarily with the Oshkosh Northwestern, and I work with other clients on occasion. I have conducted this line of work for a decade. I am currently a municipal town clerk for the town of Oshkosh. I am working in my 24th year. It's elected and it's nonpartisan. I also do a fair amount of volunteer work. I am a Crime Stopper board member and other items that are listed on my website. I learned about the Register of Deeds vacancy from the newspaper article a year ago in October. I immediately thought that this is something that I am already prepared for and it would be a, a, net, a next natural step. I have an established connection at the uh, county level and other uh, government agencies. 
it would be taking the vastness of the responsibilities that I do currently as a municipal clerk and narrowing it down to a very specialized field. This opportunity would expand my responsibilities, um, the, my responsible area to all of Winnebago County, and I would be very honored to serve. Thank you. Natalie? Thank you. And you are a Republican? I'm a Republican, yes. Thank you. And I'd like to thank the League of Women Voters for hosting this forum. Um, I am been in the Register of Deeds office for 34 years. I'm currently the Deputy Register of Deeds for over 17 years. The Deputy takes charge of the Register of Deeds office when the Register is absent. I have the knowledge uh, and understanding of the office and the ability to make decisions, give direction, perform statutory and administrative duties of the office in a lawful, efficient, accurate, and timely manner. I also am part of an employee roundtable committee, which includes employees, managers, supervisors, department heads, and we give input in, 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 in coming items um, going on in the county. And I've been in this office for 34 years, and I enjoy what I do, and I would like to advance in the field that I have worked in all these years. I do currently have endorsements from the current Register of Deeds, Sarah Van Camp, the retired Register of Deeds, Janice Flens, the Treasurer, Dinah Mumford, a Supervisor, Jim Duncan, and many others that you could check out on my Facebook page. These are all endorsements from Onagamie County where I work. I, I attend many different committee meetings and county boards meetings when permit, um, permitted to help me get um, knowledge of the different supervisors and department heads and what's going on in the county. I do stay very active with what is going on in the county and I would appreciate getting everyone's support for this. Okay, thank you. Um, if you are elected, what would be your priorities for the County Register of Deeds Office? And this time we'll go the other direction. We'll start with Natalie. Okay. Um, I would like to maintain the, pro um, the programs that was previously set up by the previous Register, Julie Pagel, and to implement and look for new updates for the office. Um, over the last year, employees with many years of experience have retired. So I would evaluate the current staff of their work experience and then ways to train and cross-train employees. Um, I believe in teamwork. So the more employees that give ideas that of how things can be done is the more efficient and happier working area. Um, good working environments and to help customers in a friendly, informative manner. Um, working in the Register of Deeds office in Outagamie County um, help, would help um, the experience of having a smooth transition with the employees and the residents of Outagamie County for the fact that I do this job on a daily basis. Um, there's new changes coming through for the vital records starting January of 2017, and I have the knowledge and training um, as Outagamie County is one of the first test counties um, to implement the new changes. And I have a good working relationship with the title companies, funeral homes, um, surveyors, IT, clerk of courts. Okay, thank you, Natalie. Mm -hmm. Jeanette. My first, I'd like to ensure the stability and building bonds with those that I will be working with on a daily basis. Chris Larson has been managing this department since the position has been vacant and has done a fine job. He is currently the Deputy um, uh, Register of Deeds. I know Chris, he's a fine person. I believe we would have a good working relationship. I believe in leading by example. I believe in positive reinforcement brings best results. I further believe uh, that work should be enjoyed, something you look forward to, and I would work towards that type of atmosphere. Next is to reach out to other experienced Register of Deeds, take in their information, and compare it to the policies and procedures here in Winnebago County. Um, and to keep the county board and the executive informed of how things are going on a regular basis. 
further is to reach out to businesses that are com that commonly use this office and to the community as a whole to see what kind of changes if any they would like to see much of the initial priorities would be gathering information measuring it against what is possible and feasible in order to strengthen the service as a whole thank you and Nick your priorities well, uh, first I'll say it's tough being a Democrat in Winnebago County. Most of the elected county positions are held by Republicans. And uh, I was actually elected to the Town of Menasha Board of Supervisors, which is a nonpartisan uh, position. And I found out being a Democrat in Winnebago County is tough the hard way. In 2015, I ran for re-election for Town Supervisor, and my opponent turned the nonpartisan race into a partisan race, with him sending out mailers with support from the Republican State Assembly and Senate representatives from the area. I was then beat by 100 votes in a strong Republican area. I've been advised not to even run for office as a Democrat as I would have little chance of winning. But I see this differently in our county. Our executive, Mark Harris, has been able to balance the budget and lower debt, so I thought maybe there was just a chance for me. I've run for public office before, like I said. In my other campaigns, I pledge fiscal responsibility as my highest priority. I also believe that creating a budget that works and keeping it balanced is the way government was designed to run. So this time around, it's no different. I'm pledging fiscal responsibility as my highest priority if elected register of deeds. Winnebago is a top populated county in the state. It's crucial that our county run efficiently. Efficiency in government not only saves unnecessary waste of residents' tax dollars, but their time. To me, being register of deeds starts with maintaining a cross-trained staff that is capable of handling frequently arising issues or concerns, cooperating with other departments and counties to best assist all residents. And I will always be looking for better ways to accomplish our goals by implementing any money or time-saving technology where applicable. This is my pledge to you as the Democratic candidate for Register of Deeds. Thank you, Nick. Um, I'd like to give you each just 30 seconds to add any other one thing you would like to, <laughs> to share with us tonight. And this time we'll start with Jeanette. Is this going to be like the last question? This yeah, is it, okay. yep. All right, I would like to share the reason why I'm running as an independent. I am running as the no party candidate. Uh, I do administer elections and it is in my opinion that claiming or endorsing a political view publicly while conducting elections, which I do, is not a wise idea. Additionally, the register of deeds position does not involve any voting powers to make or change laws it is a parallel currently to what I am as town clerk. Very different from a legislative position. I realize choosing independent is risky to win this kind of an office. I, um, having the established party, party uh, group backing is an advantage, but I am not a member of any political party. I felt joining suddenly puts my own motive and character into question. So I also would like to um, inform the voters uh, because this is a question that I get very frequently because I do run ele elections, is that there is no straight party ticket voting in Wisconsin. That has been removed over, you know, almost a decade ago. And uh, so when you go to the ballot, it, you do have to make an individual candidate, uh, candidate selection for each race. Okay, thank you, Jeanette. Natalie, did you have something to share? Yes, um, I do just like everyone to know that I do have a Facebook page out there which has more endorsements on it. And with being the Deputy Register of Deeds in Outagamie County, I do have the experience of having a smooth transition um, working with Chris and helping out the um, Winnebago County residents. Okay, thank you. Nick? I would like to take this opportunity again to thank everyone for inviting me, the Women's League of Voters and everyone attending. I would also like to thank my family that couldn't be here tonight. We had to get the, the young child to school or to bed so he can get to school in the morning. Um, Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off, we're out of time. I'm just going to say very quickly, the election is Tuesday, November 8th. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
and you may register when you go to vote on election day. Proof of res residency is required. You must also show a photo, a photo, a photo voter ID in order to vote. <laughs> to obtain an absentee ballot, write or call your municipal clerk. Early voting for Oshkosh residents begins October 17th at the clerk's office. Early voting between October 24th and November 4th will be held at the Oshkosh Convention Center. Find information about voter registration, polling place, and ballot at www.myvote.wi.gov. Our democracy depends on citizen involvement. Please exercise your right to vote. Thank you.